This is an XR5 one. Um, this side and this side. This side is where the air flow is coming through and then your clean air is coming back out of this side. So you always have one side more dirty. You can literally see the dirt. If I spread the pleats, you can actually see bits of crap stuck in there. If it's a cylindrical filter, like that's used in the RS Mark II or RS Mark III or the ST Mark III, it's a cylinder. So the outside is always gonna be the more dirty because the air is being drawn inwards. So the first thing that I do when cleaning a K&N, grab a piece of cardboard or just a, a clean bench. Let's bang all the de debris out that we can. We wanna get as much crap out of it before we wash it. You then just want to kind of go through your pleats. I like to just grab a little screwdriver, just run it through, just checking that I've got any big bits out of it. So flies, rocks, stuff like that, just separate all your pleats and you can go through each one, one at a time. Once you've got everything, that large, all the large particles that you can see out, just double check it all. We'll go spray it with the K&N degreaser and wash it through. Now, you, you don't have to wear gloves. I'm, I'm wearing little bitch mittens just to save washing my hands because I'm touching the phone. Um, you've got K&N Power Clean. You can buy this in a one gallon drum, which is just under four liters, or you can buy the small one. Um, you will go through a lot of this, so it, it's worthwhile buying the big drum. And it comes with a little hose and a little thing like that. So you're basically gonna wanna, the filter oil is red. So when it goes dirty, that's how you know it's dirty. So you wanna completely saturate the filter as much as you can. You can see some of the degreaser is just running dirt straight out. Flip it round, do this side next. And anywhere where it was really, really dark and thick, make sure you put a real nice amount on there. Now that that's saturated, we're gonna wash it from the outside in. So if this was a, an RS1 or a cylindrical one, we would wanna wash the water from the inside outwards. We know that this is the way that the airflow goes in. So we're gonna wash top down first so we can try and drive as much out. And literally just straight tap water. Now, because my tap is a little bit close, I can't get into the middle. So I'm just gonna hook the hose up into it. And all the red has come out of it, which means all the oil is off it which means it's taking the dirt with it. So when it's nice and grey looking, that's all good. So that's looking pretty good. There's a couple of little bits in there still. So we'll just try and force it through. You want to give it a good shake. Try and get as much water off it as you can. Now you need to let it dry. As tempting as it is to blow it with compressed air, do not, under any circumstances, blow it with compressed air. If you do that, it will clump the cotton together, forming a hole, and you chuck it in the bin. You've just completely trashed it. So we're in Australia, so I can literally just leave this in the sun for about 15 minutes and it will be dry. Uh, if you're in a bit of a rush, stick it on a fan. If you want to speed up the drying time, spray it with some metho. So metho will just evaporates quite quickly and it takes a bit of the water with it. So just drown the whole thing in metho. The bottle is leaking like a sieve, front and back. Either place it on a fan that's sitting upright or if it's hanging vertically, just put a hook into that little bit there. Enough like that, making sure it won't just come off and turn the fan off. Now the air filter's nice and dry, time to oil it. If you buy the small cleaner kits, you get a really small bottle of the oil. The oil actually go, the oil will outlast the cleaner. Um, I like to just, because we're a workshop obviously, we buy the 12 and a quarter ounce cans. Aerosol can, don't buy the liquid one, it's really crap to use. 
aerosol is definitely the way to go with it. So all you want to do is we've basically got to turn this grey red. So aerosol can, try and get it in, in the pleats as much as you can. Don't worry if you get any excess. Just some light coats. We don't want to drown it, remember? So it's just nicely covered like that. Now I'm going to flip around to the other side. Flip it back round, turn it over so you can get the pleats from this angle. So you want a nice amount of coverage, but not drowning it. Cool, so we've got a nice amount of coverage. Just let it sit for a minute. And you just want to take a clean rag and you want to just wipe off any excess. So it's the excess that, or if you over oil them, that's what then goes on your math sensors. So clean it all off, both sides, get all your excess off, and then you can fit it back to the car.